Business Today is brought to you by... More great cities just got closer. The Scotiabank Aero Platinum MasterCard is now even better. Fly to New York, Miami, Orlando, and Fort Lauderdale with just 20,000 Scotia points. With your new Scotiabank Aero Platinum MasterCard, you'll receive a welcome bonus of 10,000 Scotia points so you can enjoy the cities you love most sooner than ever. Apply today. Call 426-7000 or visit your nearest branch. This is Business Today. I'm Sandy Dean. More local companies will have to form linkages with international firms if they are to survive the harsh global environment. That's the view of Commerce Minister Donville Innes, who says such moves will be necessary if more local businesses are to have an international presence. Using beverage manufacturer Banks Holdings Limited as an example, Innes says that company has been able to further diversify its product offerings following its takeover by Brazilian company Ambev. And I'm serious when I say let us not quarrel about that because Ambev is going to take a Barbadian company and product to a higher level. And I suspect that there are going to be other entities that may find themselves or will have to find themselves uh, being acquired by foreign entities, merged with them, or some other kind of corporate arrangement. And to me, that is one way in which we grow out our manufacturing sector and production sector. He's being described as a trailblazer and innovator in the local manufacturing sector. Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director of Banks Holding Limited, Richard Cozia, is being hailed for his contribution to the sector's development as he gears up to pass on the baton. Recently, family, friends and colleagues gathered at the Tapas restaurant where they paid glowing tribute to the long-standing business stalwart. Among them, Minister of Commerce, Donville Innes. Certainly a reflection upon Richard Cozier as a, one, a leader in the manufacturing sector, industrialist, uh, active in the Barrett's Manufacturers Association. I can tell you that Richard Cozier has made an immense contribution to the economic development of Barbados by his uh, leadership in the manufacturing sector in Barbados. I thank you very much. Yeah. Cozier leaves Banks Holding Inc. after serving for 39 years in several roles. His retirement takes effect on June 30th. Cozier said he missed two previous dates he set for retirement, one in 2014 and 2015, because he and his team felt his service was still needed during those times. Well, they had to postpone for the second time that I could, I, 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 and, and I agreed to stay on, that I, I've reached a time today when I think that my retirement is not going to post a problem to the, for the organization. I think the organization is in good hands. They have been in good hands for many years with the team that, that we have there. Um, we are going to go through changes. Change is the only constant in life, they say. Um, not all of it will, will seem uh, appropriate at the point in time, but down the road you see the benefit of it. So to my team, or my ex-team, my current team, I don't know how to refer to you. Uh, thank you all for, 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 for your support. To my immediate family, and my wife in particular, thank you very much. Um, I'm still going to play golf. I'm still going to go on the golf tour. Tourism industry workers will finally receive their 8% pay rise agreed to almost two years ago. The Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association and the Barbados Workers Union recently signed a three-year collective agreement cementing the deal. The retroactive agreement for wages and other conditions of employment covers the period December 15, 2014 to December 15, 2017. It is expected that workers will get 2.5% in the first year, 3% the second year, and 2.5% in the third year. Tourism officials are upbeat about visitor arrivals coming out of Canada. Director of the Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc. in Canada, Peter Mears, describes the Canadian market as an interesting one and projects that the market is on track to record growth this year. In 2016, approximately 170,000 Canadians came to Barbados. And thus far for 2017, that growth trajectory is still, uh, is still there, 11% uh, I think at the end of March, which is very encouraging. Obviously we've seen the increased capacity with Air Canada and WestJet over the winter period. And over the summer period, we are projecting about a 4% increase in overall capacity, primarily thanks to WestJet. So we're very well positioned uh, from the Canadian standpoint, and ours is now the task based on what we've had happen here over the last few days to really develop and consolidate our business, such that we have a good summer and that can lead into another strong winter performance. 
Mayors was speaking to business today on the sidelines of one of the recent Connect Barbados events at Holders, which was held for travel agents and other industry players. He said the feedback from overseas tourism partners has been very encouraging. Certainly, uh, Connect Barbados has, uh, has grown. This year alone, I believe we have over 80 plus uh, tour operators. Um, certainly, I've seen increased numbers out of Europe, for sure, and the Caribbean market. And I think that that is uh, instructive in a very, high, in a very favorable way. Uh, and it certainly shows that our efforts to tap into those markets is bearing fruit and that the tour operators themselves are looking at Barbados in a favorable way and wanting to be here to have meaningful discussions and see how they can grow their business. So in that regard, I think we are on the right track. And certainly this forum over the last few days has reinforced that. Now for today's financial tip. There's no shame in using coupons or loyalty points to make some of your purchases. The goal is to be frugal and save money. And coupons and loyalty points will definitely help with that. That's been the business today. You can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbinistoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Sandy Dean.